Welcome to Niswa. Niswa is one of Oman's oldest cities and used to be the center for trade, religion, education and art. This was mainly due to the town's strategic location near date palms and at the intersection of a number of roads between the inland and the coastal cities of Muscat and Dovar. Niswa is one of the most popular destinations in Oman due to its rich history, cultural heritage and its traditional goat market at the Niswa Souk. In this video I will tell you all about how to get there, where to stay and about the sites and activities in and around Niswa that you should not miss. So let's get started. So Niswa is about a two hour drive from Muscat. There is hardly any public transportation in Oman making it best to travel by car. Do you have a rental car? Then it's very easy to drive there yourself since the road from Muscat to Niswa is very good. Don't you have a rental car? Then you can opt for a cab or an organized tour from Muscat. In the description you will find a link to some tours. So where to stay? We stayed two nights at Bayt Alhara, a beautiful accommodation in the old center of Niswa. From the roof terrace you look out over Niswa Fort, which is incredibly beautiful. I can really recommend this accommodation, so I also put the booking link down in the description. Then, about things to do. Two of the main attractions in Niswa are Niswa Fort and Niswa Castle, both located on the same grounds. Niswa Fort dates back to the 17th century and has a height of 34 meters and is 45 meters wide. Did you know that the construction of this fort took a total of about 12 years? The fort served as a defensive structure and features all kinds of traps and cannon holes. So we are on top of Niswa Fort. Uh, we already visited the castle and the fort this morning, but they told us we could return during sunset with the same ticket, because the sunset from here must be very beautiful. Niswa Castle is a beautiful structure that was built by Imam Salt bin Malik al Karusi. You can visit all kinds of rooms here, including living quarters, rooms for guests of the Imam, a library, a military room and coffee making rooms. Our visit to Niswa Fort and Niswa Castle cost 5 OMR per person. This includes the possibility to join a group tour with a guide, who tells you all about the structures and all the rooms in the castle. Don't feel like doing this? You can also explore the grounds on your own. The opening hours of Niswa Fort and Niswa Castle can be found on their website. Another place not to miss is the Niswa Souk, a market known for its traditional products. You will find several markets here, such as the fruit and vegetable market, the fish market and of course the popular goat market. Niswa Souk is open daily from 8am until 1pm and then again from 4pm until 10pm. Do you want to visit the fresh markets, such as the fish, fruit and vegetable market? Then make sure you get there before sunrise. Both the streets and the markets are full of Omanis in long white robes haggling over various products. You'll feast your eyes. You can also find spices, silverware and pottery in the souk. It's the perfect place to score some souvenirs and experience the local culture. If you're interested in visiting the world famous goat market, be sure that you are in Niswa on a Friday, as this is the only day it takes place. The doors of the goat market open at 6am, welcoming a wide range of livestock, especially goats and cattle. Good morning guys! It's 6.15, the sun is not even up, but we are on our way to the goat market in Niswa, and uh, that must be quite the event. The market officially starts at 7 a.m., signaling the start of enthusiastic bargaining between buyers and sellers. Definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. A half-hour drive from Niswa, you will find Jibreen Castle and Bahla Fort, two massive castles. Jibreen Castle dates back to 1675 and served as a residence, but was also an important learning center for astrology, medicine and Islamic law. Bahla Fort was a defensive structure and is still the largest fort in the country. It is also listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List since 1987. The entrance fee for both Jibreen Castle and Bahla Fort is 1.5 OMR per person. From Niswa you have the opportunity to visit Birkat al Mus ruins and the Tanif ruins, both remnants of villages abandoned during the Jebel Akhtar Wars in the 1950s. Birkat al Mus is built on a hill. You can stroll all the way up the hill, explore the houses inside and enjoy the beautiful view. 
At the entrance you will find a charming boutique hotel, Bait Al Saba Heritage Inn and Cafe, where you can indulge in a delightful iced coffee or juice while enjoying the view from their rooftop terrace. The Tanif ruins are smaller, more weathered and located on a flatter terrain. It is less crowded here though. Chances are you'll be walking around here all by yourself. Both Birkat Al Mus and the Tanif ruins are free to visit and are about a 20 minute drive from Niswa. Do you have a little more time? Then you can also drive from Niswa to the Camel Race Track Maidan Albas Hair in about 30 minutes. We really wanted to visit the Camel Race, but unfortunately they were not held when we were there. Luckily there was a lot of training going on, which we could watch for free. So, about food and drinks. Since Oman and Niswa are not yet major tourist destinations, there are only a few trendy restaurants available. In the historic center of Niswa, you will find just three restaurants and not all of them are very great. As a result, we opted to dine at the food truck Majestic Burger, located in the parking lot behind the souk for two evenings. The burgers there were absolutely delicious. We also enjoyed Shawatin and Atar, of which both rooftop terraces overlook Niswa Fort and Niswa Castle as favorite spots for lunch, coffee and tea. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it or found it helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss any future video. I hope to see you guys for my next one. Bye!